Hi, this is Rich Gall, RogueSemperPeople.com. Today is September 6, 2011. I just paid $164.50 to renew my driver's license, and this is a tank build update for July and August. Invasion of Normandy. Ten years of kicking ass. It took ten years, but I finally got my ass kicked. By who, you ask? Murphy and his damn laws. Anything and everything that could go wrong did. Even a trusty Tipman 98 can fail when you least expect it. Enough of the bad stuff, and on to the good stuff. We, the Allies, won on the 10th anniversary of the game, which ties the score to 5 all. The only other good thing to come from the game was, I had my picture appear in Paintball X3 Magazine. They did a story on the game. You can check it out for free online at www.paintballx3.com. I'm on page 31, by the way. The game itself was great, but it was the worst time in 10 years that I've had due to problems. Now in 2 months, you'd think I'd be able to get a lot done on the build. Iron was an expensive weekend, along with my vacation to Ocean City, Maryland this past week. Well, yes, I did have a good time there. Thanks for asking. Okay, back to the build. One thing I forgot to mention last update was the instrument panel bracket I installed. It's set in an angle so I can see the instrument panel better. The only major thing I accomplished was installing the main gas tank. It had to be removable due to the way it was designed and the lack of room to mount it. I cut a piece of plywood for the base and screwed it to the tank. On the front edge of the vase, I sanded the edge down flush to mount a piece of flat bar in which I welded three machine screws. These locked the tank into place along with the two tabs welded to the frame that hold the back of the vase. The square tube frame supports the lip on either side of the tank. The front piece of angle is cut down just above the bend to allow for clearance to remove the tank. The whole frame is welded to the upper hull. From there, I made mounting brackets for the sponsons. They unscrew from the lower hull and stay attached to the upper hull. I picked up three lights for the inside of the hull and started modifying them. Just by putting the front plate on the hull made the inside very dark, even with the sides off. And finally, fans and switches. I got the instrument panel switch and two momentary push buttons. I used one of the push buttons for the turret gun trigger and the right control handle. The big fan is for drawing air through the engine compartment. It's quiet and moves a lot of air. The smaller ones will be mounted in the upper hull and turret for airflow. In the process of welding, I ever so slightly bumped the frame with my arm. The burn took over a month to finally heal to this point. I don't think that's going away anytime soon. Now that my vacation's done and all the big games are done for the year, I shouldn't have any more interruptions on the build. Well, other than being lazy, broke, other than the usual stuff. Till then, I'll see you next update.